Okay, now I'm so interested in the next chapter. I, internal versus external triggers. I'm going to try and read it. <sighs> As we move out of early recovery, we begin to observe that internal triggers are even more common than external ones. Such triggers are commonly the nasty spawn of the inner critic. Typically, they are thoughts and visualizations about endangerment or the need for perfection. The survivor may seemingly, without reason, visualize someone being abusive. Moreover, they can also seemingly, out of the view, out of the blue, worry themselves into a flashback by simply thinking they're not perfectly executing a task that they're undertaking. They can also frighten themselves by enumerating the many ways that they may mess up in any upcoming task. When internal triggering is at its worst, small potato miscues and small potato miscues and peccadillias trigger us and what? Peccad Miscue. What the fuck is this sentence? Am I just... Oh my god, am I still conscious? Small potato miscues and peccadillos trigger us into a full-blown emotional flashback. I gather from context that I do not understand. Whatever. <laughs> Fuck this. Fuck that. Fuck that sentence. We then devolve into a polarised process of negative noticing. Uh, relatable. An incessant preoccupation with defects and hazards. We perseverate about everything that is, has gone or could go wrong. That's like my internal, that's what I've been describing with the consistent threat scanning of my environment and everyone's face that I cannot control, it just happens. Yet. That I cannot control yet. Fucking hell. I'm relating to a hell of a lot of this as well. This is like stitched into the seams of how I fucking am. As recovery progresses, many survivors are shocked to discover that the majority of their flashbacks are triggered internally by these types of inner critic programs. We will explore below and in the next two chapters the ways we can rescue ourselves from the critic's internal triggering processes.